morning because this is all about Crafters Companion this hour. We're going to be live on Facebook again if you guys have any questions because the Sara Davies will be with me live on Skype. And Sara started this entire company when she was 21 years old and it has exploded globally out there to be the most fun, easy crafting line out there. I mean, she was on the Dragon's Den, that original Shark Tank. She was a dragon, they called them dragons. She was on Strictly Come Dancing. I mean, she has become everybody's best buddy, best friend, best crafting person. What we're doing this hour is everything you put in your cart, Sara, you get to ship it for $7.50. So let's go big. I know. It's like a little mini crafty. Look at that! Hello, Sarah. <laughs> Look, wait. Hello, my dear. It's so we're, good to see you. We're gonna start this hour with literally we had to bring two tables in for me to start this hour because this has got to be one of the biggest bundles we have ever done with Sarah. What you are looking at is over five hundred pieces of everything you need to make cards embellishments anything but you have to pick the one in front of me is called hello fall and halloween so take a look at this entire table this is what you would get this is all halloween and fall colors um those beautiful autumn beautiful colors that are in there now if you're like well i'm kind of already ready to do winter we also have sparkling winter. Take a look at this, an entire other table of over the 500 pieces. Now this is more in like the whites and the blues and the silvers and beautiful like snowflakes that are in there. Choose one, choose both. We have this on sale. Originally, if you were to go to the store and pick up all 500 of these pieces, you'd easily be about $200 worth. We have it today for $74.95. And Sara, did you see this became a customer? pick I know Tina honestly never mind that the feedback I have had I have had hundreds no exaggeration hundreds of emails and messages from people who picked this up back in August when I flew out there and first aired it and oh my word people are blown away I mean literally and if you are new to card making Tina and you just want to get started one of these kits is the perfect place to start you've just got to decide am I doing all of my fall cards and everything for the next few months or are we moving ahead and getting organized for Christmas or are you going for both of them because they're both exactly the same configuration Tina you're just going to choose which theme you want to go for should I start with the fall one and show everyone what's in this yeah let's go by chronological seasons <laughs> That's a, good, that's a good idea because we're all on with it. I am so not organized enough to have started my Christmas cards yet, guys. All the best intentions. Now, as you can see, there's 530 pieces. Well, it's just beautifully packaged. So if you're buying this as a gift, and I have got several of these for people as gifts now, Tina, as well, I will tell you. Can you see it's absolutely jam-packed to the rafters full of stuff that you're going to be using, okay? So we've got things like your glitter paste and your gilding flakes that all you crafters will know about but if you're a newbie crafter this is all amazing kit you've got glitter in here we've got some wonderful ink pads you're going to be working with tina you've got all the special adhesive and the applicators that you need things like your twine your little embellishment we've got wooden embellishments here little pumpkins and autumn leaves in there lovely ribbons now lots of stamps because obviously you've got those ink pads so we've got all of the stamps to say very thankful for you happy thanksgiving hello fall happy pumpkin spice season and then we move into all these die cuts now this is designed for people team who've never crafted before potentially so you could have everything already die cut so you don't have to worry about these die cutting machines I'm not, I'm working on the basis. If you're getting this kit, you might not have any other piece of craft equipment at all. Everything you need is in the box, okay? So all of these, you're just gonna pop these out and you can see they're ready to go on your card straight away. So we've got loads of the things like your cobwebs, beautiful autumn leaves that we're working with here. Hundreds of little individual leaves, Tina, that you're gonna be popping out and putting on. And um, oh yes, we've got gems. We've got all your harvest stuff, beautiful embossed backgrounds you could be 
be working with more gorgeous gems in here. All of your toppers, Tina, so thankful for you. Hello, Fall. All of these, you're just popping them out and they're ready to go straight on your card. Stencils with little pumpkins on. Now, if I just move past all of these, oh, we've got loads of little boxes because we're going to be doing all of our own um, Fall and Thanksgiving boxes. Now, I want to just show you the papers. I'm going to start off with what we call the regular papers and then move on to these fancy ones, okay? These are the most absolutely beautiful papers that you would want to work with. They're all, all of the autumnal, those beautiful fall colors, nice and deep. It's got that muted color palette. But can you see, we kind of move through everything here. And then as well as that, you then get a couple of sheets of that gorgeous, now this is acetate. So can you see, we're going to be working with three-dimensional three dimensional projects with acetate, things like your bats in here, how fabulous are they? Uh, we've got all of your vellums, so these are your semi-translucent ones that you're going to be working with, loads of the fancy sheets. And then finally, when we get to the bottom, Tina, because we're still going, we've got 36 beautiful cards and envelopes. So if you are just starting your card-making journey, you need the best quality card, and you need that gorgeous pearl finish on there. So can you see, it's got that lovely pearlescent sheen, card is dyed all the way through you've got 36 of your different size cards and envelopes and 36 of your tags to coordinate with the six boxes that you've got as well i mean it is the box that just keeps on giving tina well, Sarah, I wanted to, I went and read the reviews. By the way, that's only one option. Can you believe that? <laughs> it was like the clown car of a box. It was just like stuff that was coming out. I'm gonna have uh, Dad Joke Ryan kind of pan this table before we move to the next table. I wanna read some of the stuff that I read in the reviews. Some people were saying they had already started to make some of their projects um, with one of the boxes and said there was so much in there that they're gonna have plenty to use next season. They were talking about taking wow. this to like a crafting party. Um, they were talking about all the the numerous projects they were doing. And you know what, what really stuck out for me, Sara, was that they were saying, yes, this is big in quantity, but it was also quality. It wasn't like you gave us over 500 and then it was like, eh, not such, what is this really called? Sara, you taught it to me. Quality, not quantity, and no. we're going for the uh, handmade, not the homemade look, Tina. That's <laughs> what you're after, isn't it? <laughs> when the girls get together and you guys craft together, what is that word? Oh, a crop. Debbie oh, a crop. They're having a crop now. Debbie and Michelle and Victoria, they're having a lovely crop where everyone gets together and does it together. And you can be doing that either with your Halloween, well, not Halloween, it's like fall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show everyone some of the Christmas cards. Okay. So let's just assume if you've gone for the Christmas one, Tina, it's, you saw how much was in front of the desk in front of you. It's exactly the same quantity. 36 of your cards and envelopes, 36 of the tags, six of the boxes, the beautiful papers, the acetate, the vellum, the gems, the embellished the stamps, uh, the ink pads, the glitter paste, uh, everything that we looked at all comes in here, right? So that you're doing Christmas cards like this. Now I've seen hundreds of people who've never made cards before making exactly these cards. You know we've got a Facebook group, uh, Tina. Yeah. We're rather innovatively called Fans of Crafters Companion on HSN. So if you go and look us up, you'll see in there, there are literally thousands of people in that group making cards with this exact kit every single day, sharing everything that they've made to inspire other people to know where to start. So if you're watching and you're thinking, I'd love to make them cards that Sarah's making, I just don't know where to start, trust me, in that group you'll see thousands of other crafters all willing to share all of their beautiful ideas with you and you'll know where to get started so this is if you're going for the christmas one and of course if you're going for the fall one it's all exactly the same but we're going to do some beautiful hall fall designs with them and I'll, so basically what I would suggest is putting each one of these on a flex pay, which would get it down to about $24.98. You could get both the sparkling winter and the fall for $50. And that would literally be almost $400 worth of crafting that you, this could cover you multiple seasons, multiple years, depending upon how many projects. But think about this. If you had to go to a crafting website or a crafting store and you had to pick out 530 pieces. I would give you the $25 just to not have to do that, right? Sara has done it for you. She has put all 530 pieces that all work together, that still gives you room for creativity, but also you know all work back together. All the way down to the embellishments, we have them in wooden embellishments. We have them in the beautiful metal embellishments. You have all the beautiful little, tiny little, you know, ribbon that you need. Every single tiny thing that she could think of 
she put it in one box for you. So you're just picking either Sparkling Winter or the Hello Fall and Halloween Paper Kit. It's a customer pick. Please read those reviews. Everybody was rave reviews of this one. You can even put this on a flex pay if you'd like to maybe get each. And those are monthly, uh, no added interest payments. And remember, Add your cart as much as you want. All of your crafts, no matter how much you put in there, will be $7.50 to ship off the entire cart. And Sara, this, you're like, this is very, you're famous for doing this, kind of putting stuff together. You make it very easy. It all color coordinates and kind of puts together. And you still have room to have a little bit of your own creativity. Well, that's exactly the idea. And should I give everyone a start? Should we get going and make a card, yes. Tina? Right? So let's imagine you're brand new to this, okay? I've take, I'm going to use the fall one. We're going to start chronologically. And I've just taken one of those lovely cards. It's six inches square. But what I'm going to do, Tina, is I'm actually just going to cut up the front of the card. So we cut a little bit of that card away, right? So what we want to do is I'm going to put one of these lovely trees. So these are our die cut pieces. And can you see they're already pre die cut so all you do is you pop them out and they're ready to go and insert into your card so if i take this die cut tree and then just a little bit of adhesive now i like to use double-sided tape just because it's for speed tina but watch this right i'm gonna tape that on the inside of my card here and then if I've got the tree there, I'm going to put a little bit more tape down this side of the tree. I'm going to stick the other side of my card on there so that what we end up with is like um, a, a floating tree in the middle of the card. And I'm going to trim off the excess piece. This is how easy it is, Tina, to make a card. OK, so now you'll see here I've actually got that tree is floating in the middle. Right. It's very, very clever how it works. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of that lovely vellum so this is the semi-translucent fall vellum i'm going to pop this inside i've just cut it to the same size you've got loads of this vellum to use i'm going to fold this up in here and now you can see i have that vellum so it's like an extra little leaf on the inside of the card isn't it and now if you want to come and start and decorate it tina all i've done is i've cut a few little bits of that card i'm going to pop them on the front of the card here nice and easy now you've got loads Loads of um, die cut pieces. So you've got things like your pumpkins. So look what I've done here. I've got my um, pumpkins. I've got the little wheelbarrow that we can pop down here. I've also got things like I've done one of the leaves that come in the kit. I'm going to pop the leaf on there. Uh, I've got some of the leaves that I cut out of the leftover bit of vellum. They allow all that onto there. It's starting to come together. It always needs a sentiment. So I've got there pumpkin spice and everything nice and then if you just want to add a little finishing touch i've taken one of those lovely little wooden embellishments and i've just put a bit of that gilding paste on so you can see you've got the gilding flakes coming in we'll be looking at gilding a little bit later on in the show but you can see just to add that bit of sparkle those little bits down there now I know that I've made that card super quick, Tina, because I know that we only had a few minutes on this item. However, I wanted everyone to see that even if you were a brand new beginner, cards like that one, cards like these ones here that I'm showing you become so <gasps> quick and easy to do. Aren't they beautiful? And they're all really unique and different. And all people need are the ideas. Remember, because everything is in the kit. We've never done this before, Tina, where I could say hand on heart, absolutely everything you would need was in that kit we've literally you don't need a die cutting machine as, as long as you've got a pair of scissors and some other sort of adhesive you've got everything you need to make the most gorgeous i mean the cards are just stunning and like i said tina don't go don't take my word for it i know a practice companion here we do the best quality glitter pastes if we do pearls and embellishments they are the top quality pearls and embellishments when we have pearlescent card it's going to be pearl on both sides dyed right through to the center our die cut pieces are foiled to perfection and dyed right to the end all of these you will know this if you've ever shopped anything crafters companion before and if you haven't go and have a read of all those reviews tina was talking about because you'll see people have made the most gorgeous cards with this kit already we only launched this a few weeks ago tina and already oh, yeah. people have made so many cards that i'm seeing all the time pop up on social media we had to bring two huge tables in here in order to put all 530 pieces for you to see um, please read those reviews i will tell you my sparkling winter is both my most popular 
popular and my most limited option, which I always call my deadly duo. So if you want it in the sparkling winter, which is the one um, like the blues and the silvers and the beautiful whites that are in there, I have 750 people that can own this box. That's what's left in my sparkling winter. Um, I know when originally Sara brought this, we had an auto ship that was available that is sold out. I do still have the single ship available. This is on a sale price. Um, you know, out in the retail world, this is almost $200. It was a steal when we had it for $99. I have it on sale for $74.95 that you're seeing there. These are cards, envelopes, papers, tags, gems, embellishments, boxes, everything you need. I mean, look, if this is a gift, Sara, look at how impressive that is. That's the, that's the idea. And I want you to know, if you are buying it for someone else as a gift, you know that they've got everything they need in the kit. If you're buying it for yourself, no matter what your level of crafting, this is going to work with you. Maybe, Tina, you bought one last month and you've started using it and you've seen how beautiful all of the stuff is inside and you're wanting to replenish and get more of the extras. Look at everything that comes in the one kit. And did you notice our Michelle there, what she was doing when she opened this up, each one one of these has a little card inside as well and on that little card you'll see as well as having all of the kit we're going to show you how to use everything that is in the kit so if you've never used gilding flakes and you've never used glitter paste you want to know how to use the special adhesives and you want to do all of the, the glittering in there as well you want to know how best to use all of those ink pads and ink up all of the embellishments we have a video tutorial a two-hour video tutorial that it will take it when you have the box it's got a qr code it'll take you straight through and it will walk you through exactly how to do a load of these cards to get you started tina i love it sarah's with us you know you can always ask her any questions she has basically put together she's curated an entire 530 piece box whether it's fall whether it's winter or maybe grab both while we still have them available you don't have to put them all together 076487 for a customer pick by the way we're live on facebook if you guys would love to jump in ask sarah any questions or tell her how much you love her which i know you do good morning to jet and don and chris um, who are with us. Oh, Tina says she's with us. Good morning, Tina from Huddleston, Virginia. Jared is with us as well. Don, good morning, everybody. Please let me know if you have any questions for Sarah. I'd be glad uh, to get those over to her. Okay, let's stay in the spooky moments. This is um, another one that we're talking about for Halloween. This is your verse stamp and card kit. I will start by saying there's only 350 of these left. This is my limited quantity set for $34.95. And I I was reading some of the uh, sentiments that were on here, Sarah, and it was making me laugh. It's like, it's time to eat, drink, and be scary. These are super cute. Aren't they gorgeous? Now you get 15 of them, Tina. And what I've tried to do is think what are all of the time, what all of the different sentiments you would use to send when you're sending people cards around this time of year. So if you have a look at what we've got is we've got wishing you a night full of frights and a bag full of delights. I think that is brilliant, that. We've also got ghosts and ghouls and spooks galore, scary witches at your door, every pumpkin, uh, pumpkin smiling, bright, um, I need to read this. Eerie pumpkin, smiling bright, wishing you a haunting night. And it's all these little things. Look at this. Candy kisses and Halloween wishes. It's time to drink. Eat, drink, and be scary. A little trick or treat. Double, double, toil and trouble. Uh, fire burn and cauldron bubble. So all of these little stamps, Tina, you've got all of these. They're really hard to come by Halloween stamps in big sets like this. So you're buying them individually. And usually you're paying $3.99, $4.99 a stamp Okay, so you're getting 15 of those. You also get all of these inserts to go inside of your cards. Now, we do them in the 4x6 size and also the 5x7 size. They're all beautifully foiled, and you've got a mix of the vellum. So these are the, the gorgeous vellum ones, and you can see the vellum is that translucent feel that you've got, and you've got them in that lovely kind of spooky Halloween-y green and also the, the uh, linen white as well, where you've got the foiling on them in gold and silver. I mean, there's a nice um, spooky Halloween one in the silver.
silver in there as well. So what you're going to be doing is, oh, and we've got a load of stickers. We've got a load of Halloween stickers that are translucent stickers to go on there as well. So what they're for is, if you've made a gorgeous Halloween card, say you've just gone for that first item and you've made some lovely Halloween cards and now you want to decorate the insides of them, all you're going to do is you're going to take an insert that matches. So I've got my card done. I'm going to open up an insert here. They all fold back on themselves like this. So you've got that score line already in place. And then all we're going to do is we're going to decide, right, what's, what are we going to stamp on the inside? So I think I like this. Um, it's time to eat, drink, and be scary if I'm sending someone a Halloween card. So we're going to take that. We know that's what we want. I'm going to get my stamping platform or any type of uh, stamping base that you've got. And I'm just going to use a little bit of just black, just for ease. Now, you can use these stamps with your pigment ink pads, with your quick drying pads, if you want to do them with, um, maybe if you want to emboss with them, so you want to add embossing powder on there, you can do. I've just stamped there. It's time to eat, drink, and be scary. And then all we're going to do is pop a little bit of adhesive down the inside of the card, fold this over, and then in it goes. And it is as quick and easy as that to do all of your card inserts. Now, you don't have to do them with just these inserts either, because it might be that once you've done your inserts, bear in mind, you've got this set of stamps, Tina. Every Halloween, we say the same stuff. Every Halloween, you make the same cards. So once you've got this, this is like an investment that you have, and it comes out every Halloween so that you've got the perfect stamps to either go on the front of the card or on the inside of them. I love it. So reminder, this one that we have, I have now probably fewer than 350 of these to go around. So if you want to grab these just in time to start making all of your amazing Halloween uh, themed cards, the stickers, the sentiments, the cards, the envelopes, they're all in here. Um, you're going to get this entire thing. I don't have a lot of these to go around at $34 and 95 cents. Um, also, while I have you, Sara, doing this, so this one is 786026. Can you also give us a, a sneak peek of the linen that you have next to you? Do you have yes. that set? I can indeed. So if you are doing a lot of Halloween or fall or Christmas cards, this is the perfect set of cards stock to go for, guys. What we've done is we've basically put all of all of the colours that you are going to need and use a lot this time of year. You are getting in here 24 sheets of your linen. Sorry, 30 sheets. We want to the first 30 sheets of your nine by twelve cards here in Halloween. Look at that. $23.95. I wanted to add that in uh, with that last piece uh, before we moved on. By the way, Sarah, Jean said um, that first kit that we had, she says, I have both kits on auto ship. They're fabulous. As always, Sarah, you rock. So um, I'm glad she already loves that customer. She might have been one of the customer pick people that did a review on that first kit. Um, now I have something that's also um, very limited as well. So we don't have a lot of time on this one, but this is a 12 piece, 12 by 12 foiled acetate. You are gonna do it in either the Halloween, which I only have 125 left here, or you're gonna do it in fall, and I have about 225 here. This is the final quantities that I have. You get 12 different designs, no matter which one that you do, for $24.95. Sara, this is brand new, and we're already about to hit a sellout. I know, and that fall one in front of you there is upside down there, Tina. It looks silver, but when you flick them over, they are uh -huh. incredible. Because actually, it's got all of these beautiful, your plaids, and it's got, I mean, look at that. It, it's hard, no, it's hard, oh, no, it's not hard to see. I can get you going there. Look at that camera. Right. Can you see? These are your individual sheets. And they are fabulous because you've got all of that beautiful, like the autumn leaves on there. Now, can you see it looks a little bit frosty, Tina? That's because they've all got this protective sheet on the back as well. So trust me to have just trimmed my fingernails last night. You've got to peel the backing off the sheet. And then once you peel it off, it becomes perfectly translucent. Let me just show you. I've made a little box with this one. You can see you've got that perfectly translucent, gorgeous finish, but with the foiling on. Now, I'm just going to hit you with this. You cannot buy foiled acetate at this quality and thickness anywhere. So usual acetate is coming in at around about um, 100 microns. This is 220 microns, so it's twice as thick. Now, this one here, we've done a little bit of glittering behind it. You can actually create boxes. If you look at this one here, Tina, the lid of the box is made out of the acetate. 
So you can actually bake goodies or whatever you do, put them inside the box and the box will be totally translucent for you to see exactly what's inside. Now, I will show you all the designs. So in the fall option, you've got those beautiful falling leaves, which is what we saw this box had been made with. You've also got the plaid finish, which is the one that we saw this box had been made with. Then you've got the one that says with grateful thanks. Now, if I get chance, I'm going to do this project for you in just a second. I want you to see how beautiful it is to create boxes with it. So can you see that acetate, but then it's got grateful thanks has been foiled onto the front. Oh, you've got the Halloween option, which I'll show everyone next as well. Yes. You've also got this set with the pumpkins in, right? The reason so I, I wanted to show the, all, all the, the pump, sheets. I wanted to show the Halloween really quick, Sarah, because that one's about to be a sellout. So I want to make sure to get oh. eyes on this one. I only have 100 left. If you want multiples of this or you want the Halloween, this is going to be on a last call here in just a few moments. So I want to make sure to get your eyes on the Halloween before it sells out. And I don't want anyone to be sad that they missed out on the Halloween version. It is 12, 12 by 12 pieces that you're getting. And now in the Halloween, it's got green and silver and purple and black and all of these different beautiful colors. You've got bats and spider webs and pumpkins and little scary faces that are on here. So this is the um, Halloween version. This will be in a, a last call here coming up. The one that Sarah has been using um, right now is my fall version that you just saw her made all made all of that but I only have 200 left in the fall so Sarah I just wanted to jump in really quick before somebody didn't didn't grab the last of the the Halloween version oh. Right, I'm going to show you the Halloween until it sells out and yeah. then I'll move on to the fall. What I will say is look at those little scary ghosts, okay? So those, when they're made up into a box, how fabulous is this box here where we've got the scary ghosts as the lid of our little exploding box with the ghosts in. I mean, isn't that just the cutest thing, okay? So you've got the, uh, the scary Halloween ghosts. Those bats are just, I mean, they're just incredible. And can you see, it's all double sided so it's got black bats on one side it's got the silver bats on the other side they're going to look fabulous you've got the little spooky faces and we do those spooky faces which make the most incredible treat bags so can you see there and again there's silver on one side purple on the other you can make your own um festive treat bags like this we do that in the purple it also comes in the green you're going to be working with it where you can see how holographic it is then we've got the spiders webs there's this this is just fabulous. I mean, I'm just going to say to you that they are, I've been working with them. They're incredible to work with. So you get it in the black. You also get it in the green, which is, you can see the holographic green there. You've got it in the holographic um, purple in there. We've got loads. There's loads of different ones to work from. So you're getting 12 sheets in total. But remember, each one super thick, right? This is the last time we'll have these, by the way. We've tried to sneak them onto this show because people will be getting the last time before Halloween. Those are your Halloween ones. I wanted you to see if you are going for the fall set just how easy it is to make a box, okay? Because what I've done, so let's assume that I'm going to make the lid of the box, right? If you use your scoreboard, any of your scoring boards, Tina, all you're going to do is pop your acetate down on there, use your scoring tool and run the scoring tool down the groove as you would with any other type of paper. Now, I've already scored this one on all four sides and then watch how beautifully well it folds. You're going to fold it over, fold it against that crease line and then give it what we call a burnish, right? So that's when you run over with the side of your scoring tool to give it that lovely crisp fold on there. So I'm going to do all four sides, Tina, with a nice crisp fold and you'll be able to watch me make this whole thing into a box literally in front of your eyes. Sorry, if you went and bought one's... one box, like pre-made box with the beautiful colors and the metallic that's on there and it's, you know, seasonal, it would be, I feel like you couldn't even get two of these boxes for the price of the entire kit we're getting. That's the idea. And you are getting 12 sheets in each one. And I would say if you do, if you're like me and you do a lot of like little mini treat boxes this time of year, things like that, you probably could be getting, you know, four treat boxes out of every one sheet. Because I tend to make just the lid of the box in the acetate. And then I use the regular cardstock for the base. Because you don't need to see through the whole box. So actually, when you think about it, that one pack is going to go an awful long way. What you will 
will be getting today, Tina, is you'll be getting people who bought this when we launched it last month, coming back for a second set while we've got the um, the seven and a half dollar cart. Uh, we wait, you know, as crafters, we wait for these sort of days when we've got all the flex pays and we've got the cart on, Tina, and things like that. So well, here I are all four sides of that. There and is that go. the fall one that. or There's is that the Halloween, lid. Sarah, that you're using? That is the that is the fall one okay. that I'm using. And then I made the bait of the box in a different way. Well, I actually made the lid of the box, and I've made the lid of the box the bait. I'm going to pop the base inside the lid like this so that I get the lid and base of the box looking and fitting together beautifully. And then all you need to do is pop a little bow on the corner, and we've got that gorgeous box ready and good to go. Look at that. And look how fast it was. By the way, Sarah, everybody on Facebook always says, look how fast she does it. Yes, it's because Sarah's been doing this for a long time, but that's the whole premise of Crafter's Companion is being able to do things, whether you are Sarah or you are me, and you're a super novice. She makes it super duper easy. She already makes it look like you are a professional um, because everything's already thought out for you. So reminder, this is the one that we're calling Fall. I have fewer than 200 to go around for the fall pieces. So this one has beautiful sentiments. This is the one that Sarah was just using, the leaves that are on there, the beautiful plaid, the pumpkins that are on here. So it's 12 designs, 12 pieces, 12 by 12 is the size. I have fewer than 200 to go here. Now, in my Halloween, how many left do I have here, Dre, in the Halloween version? I have 80 left in my Halloween. So if you wanna pick up multiples, I would do that. Or if you wanna pick up one of each, I would do that. Reminder, no matter how many pieces you put into your cart, all of your crafts will ship for $7.50, no matter how much you put in there. That's when you stock up the most, when you know you can get it at a flat shipping rate. So grab both of these. We saw how Sarah can make those into beautiful pieces. By the way, Sara has a, a huge collection um, of Crafter's Companion. Um, are we just putting crafting into the search bar? Just put in crafts and this pops up. There you're seeing it, up to 30% off on a lot of our pieces, um, the $7.50 to ship everything as long as it's all crafts, it'll ship out for that flat uh, fee. So load up on some pieces that you've always wanted, some things that are about to sell out. I just wanna make sure that you get those. We're gonna give Sara a little bit of a break. I'm gonna let you do the rest of your shopping as we're getting into a sellout on this last piece. And then after this, we've got more for you. I do it right, I'm hot as heat, my star of fire like sugar, 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 nothing sweeter than me. Here I come, it feels so good, so good to be me. I, I'm a superstar. Whoa. We're making bigger even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1 800 284 3900. It's time to level up your beauty care from skin care to makeup to hair and more. Achieve your beauty goals with our experts and exclusive products you won't find anywhere else. Fall Beauty Game Changers event starts Wednesday at midnight on HSN and at hsn.com. Shopping along with me, I'm Tina Jennings, is all devoted to Sara Davies and Crafter's Companion. We have had um, sellout pieces, we've had customer picks, we've had brand new pieces. Um, and now I'm gonna show you two different options that we're gonna do that's coming to us um, from Sheena Douglas, who is the illustrator. So either one you're going, that's where you're gonna know where the inspiration comes from. So these are both customer picks with perfect five star reviews. You can either get it in the option that we're calling the snowflake story 
or in the one that we're calling timeless leaves. And my timeless leaves, I will let you know, we have 290 left. You're getting stamps, you're getting the dies, embossing folders, all of it. It is another limited quantity story for $29.95. Bringing her back in to show us all the greatness. Sorry, Davies is joining me on Skype. Sorry, are you still with me? I'm still here, my dear. And I was talking about Sheena, so I was going to say, no matter which one that you get, that's kind of where the inspiration comes from. It is. So Sheena is one of the amazingly talented artists that works on our team. So if you have a little look here, now I can't draw for Toffee, Tina. People often assume that if you want to make beautiful cards like this, you need to be artistic. You need to be able to draw. I can't. Don't worry, we at Crafters Companion, we do all the clever stuff. We can make all of the products for you. So Sheena would draw it. You then use the products and then you get the finished result, just like Sheena's, but we've helped you mass produce it in the middle, okay? So can you see, if you're wanting to do this beautiful finish, what you're going to do is you're gonna start off with the stamp. So all of these are hand-drawn and they aren't just acrylic stamps. You'll notice they're a lot more detailed, you can see in there, a lot more detailed than you would Reg usually have in a stamp. That's because they're photopolymer stamps. So that when you stamp it, and either you watercolor or you use your alcohol pens to color, you get this beautiful effect. Now, the stamping is just the first part because then we've got the beautiful die that goes over top of it. So you have the die that cuts out the stamped element and also cuts all of these lovely little swirls that we're gonna use. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're either gonna emboss a beautiful background to lay it over the front, or you're going to emboss the actual leaf and get the vein pattern on the leaf. Now, that is if you go for the autumn option. And I thought I'd better show you that one first because you said that one was the most limited. Yes. But it's exactly the same configuration if you want to do this beautiful snowflake option for Christmas. And again, they've all been hand-drawn so that you've got that gorgeous snowflake. It's almost like you step into the scene. Now, I love to colour. All of my cards, I love to do colouring. Uh, and particularly, this is brilliant to watercolour. And if you love to do that watercolour effect, but you can't draw anything to watercolour, you want beautiful stamps to color so again there's that gorgeous stamp that's been hand drawn we've got more stamps on the website if you go and have a little look at the sheena snowflake stories you'll find that we've got other snowflakes that once you've got this set you can add on extra snowflakes and what you're going to do oh well, there they are it's like by magic and you're going <laughs> to stamp the snowflake and then you've got that beautiful snowflake die. So this, this starter kit has the snowflake in, that beautiful snowflake die, and then also that incredible background embossing folder. So I'm gonna, and, and once you've invested in one, like you see, the $27.95 gets you a set of two of the extra stamps, but then you've already got the embossing folder and the die set to work with them. So if I show you how it all works, first of all, you will not believe how detailed the stamps are. A lot of people have never worked with photo polymer stamps before. So you only need to use photopolymer stamps if you're working with true to life artistic drawings. Now, look at how absolutely massive the stamps are, right? So this is a real life reflection of how it's gonna look when it's stamped on your image. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that stamp down. So just to see if it's on my little bit of paper there, I'm gonna pick this up onto my eight by eight stamping platform. Oh, I'm gonna just make sure, because I've pulled that all up there. I'm gonna make sure we hold that down with the magnets. That is all fitting on there still, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, I'm gonna take the ink pad. Now, you can use any ink pad to stamp with, Tina, but because I want to watercolor with this one, I am using a waterproof dye. Really important, if you want to do alcohol pen coloring, you need an alcohol proof dye, but look how beautifully well the ink is taken to that stamp. That's not. That doesn't happen always with acrylic stamps. You wouldn't be able to get that sort of finish if you were using an acrylic stamp for this sort of effect. Now, when I transfer that down, what you'll see is this will actually look as though I've hand-drawn that. That is the that is the finish that you're going to get, Tina, because it will look hand-drawn. Now, once you've got that effect, to move from that to the card that you're looking at, you're going to take that beautiful um, die that's really, really intricate, place it over the top, and I'm going to hold it in place with a little bit of tape because, let's face it, Tina, nobody wants to sit and cut that out by hand, do they not? So we just don't want to mess about. So there we go. I'll pop that on there, hold it in place with a little bit of tape, I'm gonna pop it into my uh, cutting folder. 
and I'm going to whiz this straight through, in this case, the Gemini Midi. So any die cutting and embossing machine, it's not an intricate die, so it's not going to be a difficult one. It is a nice big size die, so you do need to be using it with the lovely big, uh, like a, a big six by nine inch base. So there is the design that's all been colored. And then what you can do, sorry, that's all been stamped and cut out. Then this goes exactly into the embossing folder so that if you then want to add on all of the embossing lines, you can see there, I've got my design. I haven't quite got it lined up exactly. There we go, close enough. Once that's in, again, that's going to go back through, through the machine. And now it'll add all the embossing on. And this is how the three components all work together. So use the, you do the stamping, then the die cutting, then the embossing. And it's hard for you to see that, but I've now got that beautiful embossed pattern. You can probably see it from the back a little bit easier got that embossed pattern and if I take that and color that in that is the one that I've done where I've just colored that design in so it's really looking beautiful and actually as soon as you start and put that on the front of a finished card that is the card there that I've just added that nice simple easel card because the design itself is that gorgeous coloring Tina you don't need to do a lot to it I don't want you to think that you've got to make an overly fussy complex card this is the card the main centerpiece and all you're doing is embellishing with it. Sarah, I hope you told Sheena that her sets are perfect five-star reviews. Like every single review was the highest mark that you could possibly do in this particular set. And a lot of people were saying it's her signature style. They totally love her illustrations. Um, and I, I love, you know, the whole time I was watching you make that, I was like, I would name the squirrel like Larry. Like <laughs> he would be my exactly. friend. He'd, I'd be like a Disney princess and he'd be the my little pal uh, that's in there. But remember, as Sarah was running through both of these, it was two different options so if you would love to get it with the snowflake story I do have a few more available in the snowflakes if you would like to grab that one but the one with the timeless leaves I have about 250 available in the timeless leaves so this is definitely going to be my um, more likely to sell out option um, it's $29.95 for either of the sets um, please read those reviews like I said they're all perfect five-star reviews if you put both of these sets and you grabbed the first kit from the app and then you grab something else, no matter how many crafting items you put into your cart, they will all ship for a flat $7.50. So don't come back and, you know, kind of add them in, put them all in, check out and you know you'll get one flat fee and a lot of the items that you're seeing here are buy now use now right the beautiful you know autumns the beautiful winter scenery this is just in time sorry it was like we planned it that way. We did indeed. And I think a lot of people are starting to think about their Christmas cards now. So if you're like me, I mean, and I'm not organized, I'm doing all of my autumn cards still at the moment. Christmas, I won't start thinking about until like October. But I want you to see once we do start moving into the Christmas cards, how beautiful are these designs? And you can see the texture on them because they've been embossed. Now, Remember what I said, Tina, once you've invested in the kit, you will have that base snowflake and then you will add to the snowflake with the other stamps that you can get. So that base snowflake design set is this one here, right? So that is everything. Now you don't just get the snowflake because you get the beautiful big snowflake. You get another little Christmas scene in there and lots of sentiments that just finish off the set. Now, once you've got the stamp set, you're then going to move through and you're going to add to it with the die set here so the die set is going to do all of that cutting out to be honest it's just a nice big die to use anyway and the swirls and the little snowflakes that go with it and then that embossing folder is then going to add to it and give you that lovely embossed background or the snowflake detail over the front it's exactly the same if you go for the autumn leaves option and remember this is so we have one in the starter kit I'm calling this you get the one stamp set and you get the stamps and the dies and the embossing folder but then you can go for the extra where you would get two more of these stamp sets. You've got this is the one with the beautiful square with Larry in the middle and his little friend in the corner. And then you can add in the leaf and also that embossing folder. But once you've got those, you can go way beyond just Larry and you can stamp all of your other leaves and you can be making the most beautiful cards with all of these. Very, very simple designs, but look really, really effective. It doesn't even have to be cards, Tina. I mean, imagine doing something like these. 
Wall Look at how beautiful like this. that is. Look at Larry. He's so cute. There he is. <laughs> and that one there, now Larry's been embossed on this one. Or you can add, can you see, or you can add a little bit of sparkle onto there as well. Whether you like to color with your alcohol pens or you like to do water coloring, whatever it is, they'll work with all of your different types of coloring mediums. I do want to bring up again uh, the additional uh, set to add to this because I only have about 90 left in the leaves and about 400 left in the snowflake story. So if you would like to add those additional ones, on um, for $27.95. Um, sorry, give me just like uh, 15 seconds on why we'd want to add this one in as well. Well, look at the cards that you can see there. You've got the stags. You've also got those beautiful designs where you've got the blossom, the cherry blossoms in there. It just gives you alternative looks. Once you've invested in the starter set, you might want the stamps to put the dies. You've got exactly the same if you go to the Christmas option, you go to the small play. You've got this hand drawn seat. That's my love is, you have to think for she, she's the artist. She does all the hard work, then all you do is stamp like you saw me do, and it gives you an exact replica of the image there, and then you're just going to colour it however you can see that. Okay, we don't have a lot of those to go around, so we're not actually gonna take some time to do a full presentation because those will pretty much be a sellout, but I wanted to get your eyes on for the last few that are available in both of those. So if you wanna grab them, make sure you go to hsn.com, your app, throw them in your cart, and you check out. Now let's do a little bit from Spectrum uh, Noir. Lowest price we have ever, ever, ever done on this kit. What you're getting is four of uh, the gilding flakes. You're getting outer space, rich copper, starlight, and verdigris. You're getting all four of these available. Then you're gonna get the tool kit that comes with the liquid glue, the dry ink pad, and three black sponges. And then you're getting three a three-piece glue pen set with three different nib sizes that are on it as well, depending upon what you need. You're getting the entire kit, lowest price ever, for $34.95. I was looking at the, I hope these aren't open because I was about to turn them upside down. But look at how gorgeous these colors are, Star. They're so beautiful. Are they just, and I can tell you now, they are so useful. Now, when you see the cards, if you haven't used Gilding Flakes before, this is the brilliant starter kit because you're not just getting the flakes, but you're getting all the special adhesives. Now, they do work with any adhesive, but it's the adhesive applicators, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're talking about over the course of the presentation. So you get that lovely gold, you get the copper, you get the Christmas green in there, you get the black. But when you look at my card, so can you see in this card here, Tina, we've done gilding flick oh look at the shine on them in the background this is a beautiful inked background where we've built some gilding into there maybe you just want to do a little hint and a few little hints oh we're upside down aren't we you are my sunshine and then we've got little hints in the background here or you can be adding little bit of adhesive into your background embossing folders and then adding the gilding on. It's all about having the right tools. So yes, you talked about, we've got the four pots of gilding flakes. Brilliant. It's this tool set and this set of three glue pens that really brings this to life. So I'll start off with the glue pens first, Tina, and then we'll move on to the set. I want you to see in each one of these, when I open it up, uh, Sarah and Tina, love gilding flakes i mean that's <laughs> in innovative right now you can read that because that glue is like um it's like blue and white isn't it but the longer i leave it on the more it's starting to disappear right we want to leave this so that you can't see it at all right well you will be able to when you twist it to the light but i want to have it so that we don't get any of the um the adhesive, right? Any of the white and blue showing. So I'm going to give that another second. What I will do is while we're waiting, I will show you with some strips of adhesive, right? So here we go. I'll put a little strip on and that's, uh, that's dry straight away because that's come straight out the tape pen. When I pop this in and I'm going to take this and I'm going to get my adhesive kit out of here. So I get one of the little sponges. I'm going to pop some of these gilding flakes on here, Tina. Just rub oh, this over. That 
and you get that amazing finish <gasps> and you only get gilding flakes where you've got the adhesive underneath that is what's so very clever about it and of course we can go from one color into the next so now we put the gold down i can go right up next to it now we can come straight in with the green the green is a real beautiful christmas green so i'm going to add the green on and actually i'm going to go green into gold so i'm going to go green into my gold so we get like an ombre effect coming on i'm going to rub that all in now i get that mix of the green into the gold with Look the gilding that. flakes with that background so that is how we do these backgrounds with them fabulous colors there so this is how you get the strips in the background okay now the one where we've done the writing tina is now almost invisible so you kind of can't see that but when i tilt it you can see that it's like got a bit of a decent yeah. on there right so so let's have a look tina do you want to be oh the copper is to die for right so i'm going to add the copper onto tina uh let's have a little look i'll go gold so sarah can be gold on there uh should we mix uh the love can be copper so this is the thing you can do it however you want it i'll put a little bit of green on here now so that we're mixing around oh and you've got the black i haven't even talked much about the black but you've got the black in there as well but can you see it's when we rub all of this off you only have the uh, the gilding flakes will only adhere where we've got something underneath and it's like it's a little bit like a magic sponge but it's not it's just taking all of the gilding flakes off everywhere else so that we only end up <gasps> yes it's like ombre it's like an ombre effect but then yes i mean you, I, i'm trying I, this is me trying not to get gilding flakes all <laughs> over the table tina uh, just on our project but how fabulous does our project look now i know you're thinking well that's brilliant so i can write any type of adhesive you've got the gilding flakes will take to it what's brilliant is in this kit you get a little bottle of that glue the same glue that we use you know the one that goes blue when it comes out and you can it's blue and, and a little bit it'll, it'll go translucent as you use it right now if i want to do let's have a little look i've got gilding flakes all over my stencil here i'm going to take a piece of cardstock i'm going to pop a stencil down on here and i want to put glue into the stencil so watch what i'm going to do this is a dry ink pad can you see it says on the front dry ink pad i'm going to load the ink pad up with the glue now it means you can be stamping image anything you'd normally do with your stamp your ink pads and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this through all of here now you won't be doing it with mess all over your table okay what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting your glue through the base now what you need to do is and it's hard for you to see but you need to let that glue dry and i can see it's not dry now it's gloopy right what i've got is i've got the one that i did literally seconds before you and i started on air tina so it's probably going to be difficult for you to see that however as soon as i start and apply some of the gilding flakes what you'll see is <gasps> the gilding is. flakes only a the only stick to where we had the glue and this is the beautiful thing about it is that glue will not dry until it's got something on top of it so look i'm going to use all these leftover bits up here i'm going to pick all of these up now and i'm going to start and mix that lovely ombre effect in and it'll all buff off my project and only stay where we've got gilded where we've got the special adhesive in the background and the more i buff the more it'll take it off the background how incredible is that now with that beautiful adhesive. And that gives me the most incredible background that I've used on the back of this card here. So on this card here, all I've done, Tina, is I've done that where we've inked through the back and with the stencil. And then also I've done a little bit of writing. So you know that set of three pens, you've got the thicker pen that I was just showing you to write with. You've got a nice thin pen and you've also got a little chisel nib. And once you've done that, you can literally apply your gilding flakes to anything. Sarah, can I ask you a very Tina question right now? Go on. I know I can always ask Sarah. She will never make fun of me. <laughs> okay, what is the difference between a gilding flake and, like, glitter? 
Okay, so these are, you know how, um, if you think to cake decorating, Tina, yeah. you know how you see people can put gold leafing on, on cake decorating, yes. it's like the flaky stuff. Glitter is just like little crushed down bits of stuff. This is actual, and if you have a little look at it, they are flakes. So it gives you, oh, let's have a little look. We're on the, we're on the intense close up. There you go. So can you see, it is like, they are like this amazing flake and it gilds on top of it so that the finish you get, in fact, should I just go for it, show you that one that I did yeah, yeah. so you can see it nice and up close. That is the finish. So you couldn't get, it looks like it's been foiled. You couldn't get that without the foiling. Now, do you know that's really great? I'm so pleased that that's come up on the side at the moment because that'll speak to the value. We have a lot of people who just get, because we keep these always in stock at HSN, the set of three glitter pens, the ink pad, the special adhesive, and those lovely sponges. It's $20 and change to get just the accessory set. So then it's only another $15 to get the four tin, the four little packs of the different colors of gilding flakes, because you need that starter kit, you need the toolkit and glue pens to get started if you're gonna get the best results with it. This way you are getting that and the four pots of gilding flakes for only an extra $15. Yeah, the entire, you're getting everything. So yeah, the four different colors that you're getting in the flakes. So you're getting what we call outer space. You're getting the rich copper. You're getting the starlight and the vertigree. So the green. So you're getting all four colors. Look at that beautiful green that's on there. So you're getting all four one uh, in different colors. Over here, you're going to get um, the liquid glue that Sarah was talking about, the dry ink pad, the three black sponges we were um, showing uh, Sarah using those as well. And then you're getting the three-piece glue pen set. And so we're getting three different nib sizes. Why is that important? Okay, so what I can show you is, because I'm just doing a bit of uh, gluing on mine here, you get a chisel nib, you get a bullet nib. So I like to do all of my thick, big writing with that bullet nib. So the one that you and I did us our lovely sign, uh, that has all been done with that bullet nib, okay? The chisel nib is if you want to color big background pieces, and then you've got a third pen in the set, which is that tiny weeny small nib, so that if you want to do little bits of writing, like on this one here, I'd written the hello, you can see how beautifully fine that is. So that's your fine writing with the hello, that comes with the tiny little one. You've got that bullet, and then you've also got the chisel to work with. Now, actually, what I was doing on this one now, Tina, is just taking the liquid glue and applying it around the outside. Can you see like this? So that I, I end up with like quite a thick piece. So I've done all four corners and it's given me, yeah, you can just about see that quite a thick piece. Now, once you leave that to dry, bear in mind, you couldn't stick that too wet now. Stick the gilding flakes on and they'll just glue to it. They don't like foil to it. Ah. That is the background you're going to get when we apply the gilding flakes to the thick piece. Look at that. I'm telling you, they are so beautiful and so stunning um, in person. The entire kit is $34.95. Make sure that you grab that, 842-598. We are down to our last item, Sara, and we are gonna oh. end with some gratefulness, some blessed craft bundle. I have about 850 um, in my final quantity, our lowest price again at $26.95. But I think this is a perfect way to end, to talk about blessings. Yes, and that is it. So, what this is another one of those big massive sets where we put your loads of pieces in, Tina, so that you've got all of the sentiments to say you're full of thanks or you're feeling very, very blessed at the moment. So can you see a nice simple card like this? We've actually put in card blanks and envelopes into the kit. So can you see, these are the card blanks here. So you're getting a whole set in those beautiful pastel colors of your card blanks. You've then got all of the matching envelopes to put your cards into in the matching colors and a set of card blanks and envelopes this quality in this feel that's about $15 worth to get you started Tina just to give everybody the kind of feel of, of what we're looking for then you've got a pack of 50 uh, 25 sheets sorry of the beautiful papers which match perfectly in size then we've done you twine and ribbon 
and also the two die sentiments for grateful and thanks. So you can see on this one here, we did that lovely thanks that we've got in here. Now, this was designed as an add-on set for anyone who bought a big kit that we did last year, which has all of these amazing dies in to cut all of your sentiment panels out. So if you've got the big die set that this works with, then fantastic. If not, you've got the beautiful stamps that you can just stamp and cut out individually. So if I just show you what we've got here, yeah. you would stamp a whole sheet at once and they all work back to the thanks and the grateful so we've got a card full of thanks grateful for your love and support grateful for my friends and family grateful for your hospitality grateful for your thoughtfulness grateful for everything thanks for all that you do thanks so much give thanks with thanks thanks a bunch and you can see all of these different sentiments it's so that you can mix and match and you can see here I've done a card full of thanks. Or you might want to stamp uh, thanks for my family and friends or thanks for all that you do. And you're stamping all these individual sentiments and then you're going to use the die set that comes with it. So dies and stamps and about $15 worth of cards and envelopes and the twine and the ribbon and the 25 sheets of coloured card stuff that go with it. If they make, any time you've got thanks, these are perfect to go with it, Tina. Are we all in agreement that we want to be Sarah's BFF? Are we all in agreement? I just want to like <laughs> hang out with you, be with you. I just love you so much. I just mwah. thank you, my friend, for spending an hour with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will see you guys again next month. Absolutely, we can't wait for her return. Now I'm gonna let you go. I had to stick around to be with my girl Sarah, but guess who's in the house? Hi, Miss Tina, and hi, everyone. I'm Alice Carone. I have been gone for a few weeks, took a little time off, but I am back, and what a day I picked to come back.